A teacher is conducting a camp for a group of five children based on their performance and behavior during the camp. The teacher rewards them with chocolates. Write a Python function to find the total number of chocolates received by all the children put together. Assume that each child is identified by an ID and it is stored in a tuple and the number of chocolates given to each child is stored in a list. The teacher also rewards a child with extra few chocolates for his or her best conduct during the camp. If the number of extra chocolates is less than one, an error message extra chocolate is less than one should be displayed. If the given child is child ID is invalid, an error message child ID is invalid should be displayed. Otherwise, the extra chocolates provided for the child must be added to his or her extra her existing number of chocolates and display the list containing total number of chocolates received by each child. So let's look at the code. So it has a tuple child ID. It is immutable. We cannot do modifications. Then this is a list. So every time a child receives an additional chocolate, we will increment the value corresponding to the index of the child ID. For example, if we reward uh, two chocolates, two child ID 101, currently it is 10. This is in the zeroth index. This is the chocolate received is also in the zeroth index. 101 received 10 chocolates. If we add 2, then it has to become 12. That is a way So it basically has two functions calculate total chocolates, reward child. So calculate total chocolate is very easy. We can use the function called sum. Sum of chocolates received, that is a list. So we, we sum, uh, we perform, add up every individual item on the list. Then every individual item in the list, then we return it. That's how it works. Then when you look at um, the second function, reward child ID. So uh, there are few conditions, few things you need to remember. If number of chocolates is less than one, then we'll have to display extra chocolate is less than one, which means if number of chocolates reward, rewarding is zero, less than one means zero. So we basically put a condition, if extra chocolates is greater than zero, then we perform this operation. Otherwise we say extra chocolate is less than one. Then second condition, we should also check whether the child lady is available in the, uh, the child lady, child, child rewarded, right? The ID is available in the child lady tuple. So second condition, if child lady reward in child lady, only then we proceed further. Otherwise what we do? We say child lady is invalid. This is an inner if condition. Then we check child lady index equal. We need to take the index. Only then we can allocate chocolate, add chocolate to the respective index. So child lady index, we take the index out. So let's look at this example 201. 201 is the child lady and 2 is the extra chocolate. We are going to reward. So we take the chocolates, uh, uh, this one, child lady index, child lady dot index of child lady rewarded. Child lady rewarded, child lady rewarded is 201, 2, 201 child lady, we are going to reward chocolates. So we are trying to retrieve the index. So index is 1, 0, 1, in the tuple it's index. We, we take the index out, then we using the same index, child lady index, chocolates received, chocolate received of 1. So now what will happen is, Chocolate received of 1 refers to this location. So 5 plus 2 plus extra chocolates. Now the total chocolates received. Now we also uh, print how many chocolates received. Right? Uh, total chocolates. Uh, we mentioned chocolates received. How many chocolates received that we mentioned it here. Let's visualize this to understand better. So line by line. The flow starts from here. It's a tuple. It is a list, list and this is a tuple. <clears throat> the program flow so comes from here, so, uh, calculate total chocolate, uh, chocolates. So it is a method. It goes up, it returns, it calculates all the total chocolates, 10 plus 5 plus 3 plus 2 plus 4, total of 24. It returns, 24 it returns, then the value is printed here. Then the next function is being called reward child goes up. We pass two parameters. Child ID is 201 and extra chocolates are two. We pass two parameters to the function. Then it comes down. 
if x of child is greater than 0 yes it is greater than 0 condition is true then goes in if child lady in child lady rewarded in child lady tuple 201 yes it exists so this condition also uh, become true then what happened we'll have to 201 we'll have to take the index index is 1 I mean 201 index is 1 we have to take index of 201 so child lady index is 1 then we use this chocolate received we will do necessary changes chocolate received is 1 we do the changes on the first index so plus 2 we added with this line we add plus 2 it has become 7 now then finally we return the result we print it so 10 7 3 to 4 is printed